my channel. My name is Jay Ivankovic and I'm here to show you how to make your own compositions. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing you need to know is you need to know how to use your acoustic instrument or electric instrument and you need to know how to sing, songwrite, and do compositions and it takes 10 years to get good at it. So I'm at the 10 year mark starting today and now that's either like the biggest like who knows or it literally is. So let's just go from there. Um, I'm 10 years into making songs and writing music and so I'm going to make a piece where I compose with you so that you learn a bit about how to compose your own pieces. If you're just starting out, you know, do something simple, make cool lyrics and make it work. If you're more advanced, try to think about the key signatures you're using and do modal shifts. If you're doing something with um, more advanced bands and, and trying to make real profit, then I suggest all of the above and doing everything you can possibly think of. Um, but here we go. So here's a, a really cool riff that I like to start with today because it means a lot to me that I thought it through. Um, it goes do 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 sound quite right until I started palm muting. So when I started doing my palm on the strings with the rhythmic, to, with the rhythmic styling, I started to actually sound like that. So here we go. And notice it didn't actually work until I started doing double stops on the right tone, on the right, um, on the right, what's the word, Jay? Come on. It's, it's the right, it's not the tempo, it's the right note. It's the right note. Note. There we go. Um. to 10 and I'm going to say things after that so like one is for the people who yeah I don't know yeah I, I will know in a second just give me a moment um one is for the people who never give up how about that um two is for the effort that was already enough Three is for the time, times, when think of the trust fall, like when I, when you trust fall, um, when you fall in love. Oh, okay, so on three, it's like third time's a charm, so you, you find out that it works out. So how's that sound? Maybe there should be a harmony in the beginning.
okay, I'll stop. <laughs> as long as I, as long as I've thought it through at least once. And how it works really is that you have body, you have muscle memory, you have body language memory. So if you play it enough, you just start to pick up everything you've ever done with it, and it just kind of plays itself out. I don't know. That's how it's worked for me. I am technically very far along on the normal, normal spectrum. But um, for anybody who doesn't learn as quickly as I do, I, I don't know. I recommend um, really finding your, your inner soul, or finding your passion, finding, finding out what it means to you to be a guitarist and singer-songwriter, and uh, making, um, making, your, making your destiny one of, you know, doing, doing the right thing with, with what you have going. So don't try to, um, now I'm getting too elaborate. <laughs> Don't try to just copy everybody else. I mean, you could you could run with the herd your entire life and never get anywhere. Um, you you could also just be a lone wolf and, and never get anywhere. So, you know, find something that that is sort of inter interconnected, intersubjective to uh, the way of um, it means a lot to means a lot to you, means a lot to everybody, means a lot to um, properly expressing you, you know what what the emotions really are because that's the first thing I teach you at Berkeley Music School is that and I just took a like a little Coursera on it for a little bit um, is that you, you um, need to find the emotion in music because that way you can express more than just you know the the logical structure or um, what have you so if I was to add this. And I sang something like. the mic didn't die. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what 
Let's try it, let's try it.